15% uh, of the couple in the population experience infertility. Most of these couples do not experience any symptoms at all. They only realize they have a fertility issue uh, when they're trying to conceive. Of course, a small proportion of people do have some telltale signs. For example, like they have some irregular period where the cycle takes more than 35 days to come, or they have no periods, or some woman who is overweight, uh, or some women that have very painful or, uh, period or painful intercourse. These are the signs of infertility. Uh, if you are below 35 years old and you've been trying to conceive for more than 12 months and not using any form of contraception, uh, you should seek a fertility advice. If you are older, above 35 years old, uh, that time span is reduced to 6 months. After every embryo transfer, the, the clinical pregnancy rate varies from about 40 to 60%. So don't be disappointed if you have uh, failed your first IVF treatment. Uh, speak to your fertility doctor, uh, uh, look back at what was done. Was it an issue with the egg, with the sperm or with the embryo? After that, um, the doctor may recommend some alternative treatments uh, may alter the stimulation protocol. Uh, the doctor may recommend uh, PGS treatment, uh, endometrial scratching, or uh, lipid infusion. There are various methods can be done to improve your chances for the next treatment. The subsequent pregnancy rate after a few IVF depends on many factors. The woman's age, uh, the quality of her uh, embryos, um, uh, and whether there's any available frozen embryo. If the woman is less than 40 years old and she has a frozen embryo left behind, uh, her chances are still good. After a failed IVF cycle, patients usually get rather emotional, depressed, and it is normal to cry and to grieve. Uh, take your time. Huh? To, uh, you, you have to recover from this event before you attempt the next one. Uh, different people may take different time to recover. Some may take one week, some may take two months. Um, I would recommend usually to rest for about one to two months before you attempt another IVF cycle. Uh, before you try to attempt to conceive or during the process of conception, it is important that you optimize your health by uh, stopping smoking and alcohol. You should also optimize your body weight if you are overweight or underweight. Uh, you should also manage your stress level and acquire more rest and more sleep. One should also start taking some preconceptual folic acid and be aware of this age-related infertility. Huh? If you are above 35 years old, uh, you should come and seek fertility advice or treatment early.